Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck. And today we're starting a new series. And just to start with, if you were uh, one of the people that watched uh, Monster Train Expert Challenges, I apologize for the rage quit. I had enough, end of. But anyway, we are starting our series of a medieval dynasty. I've watched a few people play this, namely KJ848 and Game Edged. As same with the uh, Infected series. And I've really wanted to play this for a little while, so how about we play it? I've got about an hour's experience of it, and I kind of know what's happening. We're just going to go for a normal game, and I've been getting a few tips from Night Raven, same as with uh, the Infected, she's taught me a few things. But anyway, I'm going to shut up for a minute, enjoy the little uh, intro cutscene. Have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks, I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Well, that was kind of grand, wasn't it? I love medieval style games. Absolutely love them, and this is definitely a medieval style game, hence Medieval Dynasty being the title. So, we've got a tutorial to start with. Gustovia, I think that's where we're going. Talk to the Castellian? Unighost? I'm probably going to mispronounce loads of things in this game. By the way, as I normally say at the start of every new series, I think I've got the sound right. Let me know if you think it's a bit loud. I'll do my own test as well. My test, I mean, I'll watch it back just to see. But, <clears throat> yeah, feedback's always appreciated. Anyway, let's get down here. So, knowledge tab. Well, it says knowledge and it's tab for me because I've changed my buttons. Yeah, it's L for me, actually. I've swapped it. Chapters, their main goals to the game, blah, blah. So you can come to this place to find out more about the game. But I'm hoping we're just going to learn it through the tutorial. So let's get a bit of a sprint on. As you can see, bottom left, you've got all the normal sort of stat things. In fact, right underneath my face. I'm not sure if this is even going to be a good place for my face, but it's staying there for now. So I believe green bar is stamina. Red bar would probably be health, uh, orange bar is more than likely food, and blue bar is more than likely water. There's also some sort of indicator of how much you smell as well in this game. At some point we'll probably find out how and where that is. So, I'm holding alt here. It's your survival instinct? Survival or something like that? It gets explained in a minute anyway. I'm just trying to use it to see where this dude is. Although, if you look right at the top, we have got the yellow exclamation mark. Hey, dude, stop there. There's going to be a loads of reading to this game. I'm not great at reading, but we'll try. Hey, stranger, what brings you to our valley? You don't look like a merchant or a pilgrim. No, I'm not. Racemir is my name? Race... Ra Racemir? I'm going with Racemir. I wish you could change that. I'm Dak. Uh, and I came from the south looking for my uncle Lorden. Um, in his old home, they called him Lord and the Raffsmith. Okay, Lord and, ah yes, he told me once about his life of the river. You came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. Why? That? Uh, why that? Shouldn't you be wise, that? What happened to my uncle? He was a great man and even better friend, Racemere. 
I'm going to start saying Dak. It's a good craftsman and an excellent trader. He's a small. Uh, he made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He built and ran it, as well as many other shops you'll find in the valley. My mother told me that I've got to be wealthy in the north. I had no idea how wealthy, but that doesn't answer my question. Your uncle got himself... Oh, he got himself killed, my friend. He had this idea of a huge trade with the German kingsman to the west. Okay. Five carts filled with the best iron, beautiful coloured linen, and our excellent beer. Pulled by ten oxen. He was not fooling around, I can tell you that much. So what happened? How did he die? Might not want to ask that question. His trek got ambushed by bandits. His carters slaughtered. He must have put up a good fight. Took two with them uh, with them to death. From what we saw when we searched for him, I buried him myself. Or better, what the wolves left behind? Uh, I'm sorry to be the bearer of such news. My uncle is dead. His wealth is gone. I came all this way here for nothing. No, we didn't. Don't say that. I wouldn't let a nephew of Lorden go to waste, and even if most villagers for uh, forget fast what they owe your uncle, I have no intention to join them here. I am Castellian, and my words still carry weight. So tell me, can you build your own fortune? I can craft simple tools. I can collect my necessities from the wilderness. I know how to count and to barter. That's good enough. I may have good or gold, uh, goods or gold to offer, but you can have as much land here as you want. Not sold, but granted to you for life. Ah, build a house, grow vegetables, keep some livestock and follow your uncle's dream. Are you serious? My own land? As much as I want. As much as you put to good use, my boy. And as long as you can pay your tax. Obviously, nothing comes for free. I understand. Do you have any advice for me to start with? You can cut down trees to build your house. Reeds grow by the river. It will work well for a roof. Do you have some food with you? Not much. If necessary, you will find several vendors in our village. You don't have any money. If you don't have any money or food, money for food. Oh my word! Told you I wasn't good at reading. You can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Mushrooms in a forest sounds bad. What if we get the wrong ones? Maybe I could earn some coins somehow. Sure, you can talk to people here or in or in other villages. Maybe someone will pay for your help. Thank you so much for your advice. It's time for me to find the right place. Let me see. I have something special for you. This is the hammer your uncle used to build the house in which he grew old. What better tool could you use to build your first home here? Thank you very much. See you next time. So, we've got the tab menu. Allows access to inventory, skills, journal map, management, and technology. Explore their functions and information they provide, which is tab. Q lets you craft a wide array of items and buildings. Inspector mode, that's what it's called. The inspector mode lets you see whether the village, where the villagers are in the area around you, as well as your items on the ground like spears. You can also, uh, you can as well as your items on the ground like spears. You can also see the stats of your NPCs you are able to recruit. The inspector mode uses stamina with talents. You can upgrade it as well. Okay, right. So chapter one. A new beginning. We have got to get 10 sticks. Okay. You get sticks from like absolutely everywhere. By the way, I've got an area in mind where I'm going to build. Again, when I was practicing the other day, um, Raven was watching me on my Discord. And I am going to promote this again. I do stream while I'm recording onto my Discord. And I have recently got Discord Nitro, so I can stream in the quality that I am playing the game in. Feel free to join my Discord. It's either in the description below, or it appears on the outro screen right at the end. The more the merrier. It's a community Discord that I'm trying to grow. So yeah, come and watch me. You get to see the episodes ahead of time. I've already got enough sticks there, so let's stop doing that. We want stones next. Um, but yeah, I know where I want to build my... Uh, well, it's not going to be a village village it's not going to be a village to start with it's going to be a house but i know where i want to put it just trying to find some stones i always struggle to find these they are absolutely everywhere once you find them come on give me some stone what was that i think that was one of the bushes nope it was a stone nope that's a maple branch one more stone Maple branch, birch branch, birch branch. Oh, St. John's War. Yes, please. If I... No, we've not got enough points yet. Well, we've not got enough skill. We can level things up, as you'll see later. And then when I old, old, like I am now, you'll actually be able to see items around you. That's probably about as much as I know about the game. 
you've uh, you've already caught up my level of knowledge. By the way, I am going in the direction I want to be going. I'm not just rambling and wandering up this road willy-nilly. Although, I kind of am. Give me a stone. Now, yes, there are bigger stones that you can use a pickaxe on. Excuse me, hiccups. Uh, yeah, you can use a pickaxe on them. And um, break it into smaller stones. That's a mushroom. Come and lie down, baby. Come and lie down. There we go. I can see a couple now. Stone. I might as well grab a few more. There we are. Damn it, I thought it was going to let me get that one as well. Right, there's a few stones. So we need to make a stone axe to do that. We'll press Q. We will go to crafting. Stone axe. We can make more than one, but I only want to make one for now. So let's just make this one. Ta-da. If we go into our inventory, as you can see down here, we've got numbers 1 to 8. My axe is banned to 1. If I ho hover, well, if I click on the axe and press 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you can see it swaps the key. Very nice, very nice. What is this? This is temperature, isn't it? 20 degrees it likes. Um, now we need to cut five trees. I'm actually going to wait until I get where I want to be to start cutting trees down because they're rather heavy, as you can imagine. Carrying logs, probably not the best idea carrying it a long way. Now, I have got a very short run to get where I want to get. Because there's a nice flat area just over this way, which is actually, again, um, I am going to keep uh, referencing her. This is where Raven advised me to build. There's a nice amount of deer around straight across the river. There's also more deer and stuff like that. We want to stay near the river as well, because we can use that to drink. Um, you can probably use it for other things later down the line as well, but yeah. I think it's just here, actually. Now, I do want to stay somewhat close to the road. Later down the line, we will be able to make roads and stuff. Yeah, this is the spot. Uh, yeah, we will be able to make roads and stuff. But for now, I'm just going to build onto this road. And then when we want to actually make roads later on. Fences, roads. Do we think this actually costs anything? What if I just put that down? Oh, it's free! It's free. Right then, I'm not building straight onto the road. That's going to be the start of our village right there. That is brilliant. I thought it actually cost. Um, 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 we, need pla uh, we need logs. Sorry, it's alright. I've been playing The Infected not long before this. I'm going to keep muddling them both up. So they're very similar games in some senses. We are going to chop down this here maple tree. And I believe the trees grow back over time. I can already hear Raven screaming at me. Look for the feathers. I can't see any. Or is it when you've actually chopped the logs up? I didn't see any. If I've missed them, I'm sorry, Raven. Don't tell me off. <laughs> uh, but we will need feathers for, I believe, arrows and stuff. I'm not sure exactly what, but later on we will need them. Just try and cut one that's not kind of shrouded in uh, foliage. This one's a bit clearer. Any feathers? Timber! Come on. Water. Water is essential parameter for life. Without it, the HP drops. To replenish it, just drink water from a stream, river, or lake. Water can also be carried in a bucket or a water skin. Okay. Mm well, we've got bouncy trees there. Yeah, I think that's already cut, cool, actually. I shouldn't keep doing that. I'm wasting the durability on my axe. There's another stone. I'll take that. There's another stone. Oh, we've got loads of stones around here. Beautiful. More stones. I don't see any feathers again. Maybe it's not every tree. And you can get rid of these stumps later down the line. I believe you need a spade or a shovel. Same difference. Uh, I'm also getting overweight. Uh, let's just drop some of these logs off here, which is X. And then E to go to the maximum amount. And then F to drop them. They're just going to sit there in a nice bundle. Please don't roll into the stream. 
Nom nom nom. We're good. They're going to roll into the stream, aren't they? Fine. Have it your way. I'll pick them back up and I'll drop them this way around. X, E, F. I'm saying that now because as I play the game more, I won't explain that every single time. And I'm not going to want to drop everything in one go every time. It's just for now. I don't really want to be carrying the logs. Yeah. There we go. That's them broken up. I'm fairly sure they're the right mushrooms to eat, but I'm scared. <laughs> oh, it says right there, look. Shovel required to remove the stump. Fair dues. Fair dues. Uh, what do we need? Two more trees. Helps if you actually hit the tree. And done. Oh, I saw them then. Stones. I didn't see any more. You do also get sticks from chopping logs. I don't know if you've noticed that. You're going too much weight. Where did my other logs go? Right here. I want to try and keep them all handy and in one area because I've not got any storage for them at the moment. Um, X, E, F. Drop all of those in one go. And one more tree. And then we need straw. We'll definitely get the house built in this first episode. We're getting there rather rapidly already. I wasn't paying attention. Can I crouch, please? There we go. I've not got to drop these logs off this time because we don't need any more. Let's go and grab some straw. Now, I had a problem with this to start with. Reeds, to me, aren't... Well, they are these. There's some reeds further over that way. I kept trying to grab them. It's not them. And just so you know, we're going to need more than 20. The game is lying to me. Um, it's like six reeds or something per roof tile. I think. I can't remember. I've built one house in my uh, medieval dynasty's career. Forgive me. Just going to grab a few more. Let's go to 30. Although, this is actually a very nice spot. These reeds are right close to where we're going to be building. Uh, build your first house. So, very similar to how we built the axe, we're going to press Q. Buildings. Houses. And to start with, we can only build this one. Ah, right. We need more logs. You've got to have the minimum amount of logs to be able to start building. So let's just come and pick up eight of these. We are going to be monstrously overweight. All right, then. We only need six. So what we're going to do is go there. and I didn't mean to press F. I meant to press D. Uh, Eleven. So I'm going to drop five of these off. That leaves me with the six that I'm going to need to be able to build the foundations for the house. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, Q and E to rotate. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way this is facing because it's all customizable. But I'm going to face it just like I want it coming onto this road that I've set up. Yeah, right there. This road isn't going to be all straight, by the way. I'm not going for like a grid style like I would with um, City Skylines or anything like that. Not that I've played City Skylines on camera yet, but there we go. Wooden hammers on too. So, as I said, this is all fully customizable. Um, if I edited this, I could turn this just into a wall. And by the way, there are different styles of stuff. For now, we're just building a wattle wall. Until I've got somebody chopping trees down for me, I don't want to be cutting down logs. Oh, no! That needs to be a door. But yeah, you see what I mean? This is all customizable. In fact, you know what? I think... I am going to customise it a bit. I'm going to change this to a wattle window. So I've got that lovely, lovely view of the river over there. Other than that, I think we're good. I like... Well, actually, it's on the left of every wall, if you think about it. Left, left, left. You know what? To keep this pattern up, I'm going to go left there as well. Uh, one log, six, one log. It actually uses less sticks for a window than a... Uh, than a wall, so why not? So now we're just going to keep hitting this. <clears throat> As you can see, the sticks are being filled up. I've not got any logs on me right this second, so let's just come over here and 
grab these five. You don't want to overhit things. A, it wastes stamina. B, it wastes the durability on your hammer. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to count for everyone, don't worry. You can hold it, but then I've got the problem where I overhit everything. I don't want to be doing that. If I let go at two, I should be alright. Let me go and grab some more of these logs over here. Now, very soon it's going to start asking me to go and collect food. Because as you see below my face, the yellow bar is half empty by this point. There we go. If I let go when that says two, I should be fine. And still need more logs. Oh, that'll be the one single one that I dropped there. No wonder I need more logs. Uh, thank you. Eh, we're carrying too much. I don't know if your carry weight goes up eventually. What did I say? Food was about to pop up. Food is an essential parameter for life, and without it, HP drops. You must eat to restore it. Initially, you can't, you can hunt animals for meat, but raw meat can cause poisoning. In spring, moral morel mushrooms are edible and can be found in the forest, but unripe berries can cause poisoning. In summer, the berries are ripe and good to eat, and in the fall, there is a much larger selection of mushrooms. But you need to be careful with the poisonous ones. I don't know which ones are poisonous. I'm going to assume, just based on a guess, that anything that's red is poisonous. So that's normally how it goes, right? Brightly coloured is bad. Boom. Right. Roof's up next. And there's the thatch roof. We could change this all to wood as well, I believe. Wooden tiled roof. Wooden... I need planks, holy crap. Yeah, no. We're sticking with what we've got. And I dare bet we're going to need some more straw. Even though... Oh, damn it. Even though I grabbed more than I thought I'd need. Stop it. We're breaking our uncle's hammer. I don't know how he did much with it. If we've nearly broke it and we've basically built the most low tier of house imaginable. I just don't know. See, told you we need more straw. I should probably have checked how much straw we need, so I'm not, like, over-grabbing it. But we can always put it into storage, I guess. To me, these are reeds. Where has the actual reeds gone? Yeah, they're over here. Yeah, them... It's like when you stroke them, they turn into, like, cotton. Come on, Luna, come and lie down. Come on, lie down. She keeps staring at me instead of putting... Uh, yeah, I class them as reeds, but... Eh, they're not. Uh, holdy. Ooh, survival level up. So let's have a look in a second. I just want to grab some of these. You, le you get levels up in so many different areas. It's quite an in-depth game from what I've seen of other people playing it. The reason I've not done a uh, Let's Play of this sooner, just so you know, is because I saw loads of updates coming out for it back to back. I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a bit of time to settle down and then I'll have a look into it. So if we go into our skills, obviously there's a star there, so we've got a skill point to spend. Survival. So we've got survival knowledge, plus one points from survival activities, insensitive work in progress, okay. Oh, that affects your temperature tolerance. And iron liver, 15% bigger resistance to poisoning. I've been told this is a good one to go for first, because um, food early on, not necessarily great. Survival sense, sensing mushrooms, feathers and herbs in inspect mode. Ooh. 10% more health. I probably wouldn't go for that one this early on. I'd definitely get the survival sense increase as soon as we can, though. Excuse me. Let's finish off our house. Boom. Uh, I need more logs. Axes on one. I need to swap that. I think I want axe on three, hammer on four, maybe. Because that's normally how I go with games like this. Yep, that... That plant is supporting this entire tree. You saw that, right? It's getting awfully dark already. I've not even built my house yet. Uh, let's go to the hammer, which is on two at the minute. No, I don't want to edit it. Yes. We have a house. Admittedly, it's only like a thatch house, but it's a decent start. And actually, I'm quite upset with that road already. I don't suppose you can, uh, 
Yes, yes, you can destroy it. I just don't want to get close to the house. I do like that you can build roads already, though. What the? Roads. I do want to get this first bit coming off a little bit more straight. Seasons and sleep. There are four seasons. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. So, welcome to life, basically. The seasons change automatically after three days. Many things depend on the season, including the sowing and harvesting times for different cereal... Cereals? Okay. And vegetables. Also the timing of the availability of wild food resources, including berries and mushrooms. There are different temperatures during these various seasons, so you will have to have suitable clo uh, clothing ready for these. You can sleep in your bed or by the fire between 7pm and 7am. Sleeping by the fire does not restore health. Sleeping in your bed restores your HP a little. Okay. Thanks for that. I do want to get this first bit of the road somewhat straight. Apparently, I'm too close to the house here. Roads. Let's just go to the end of the house, right? For now. Uh, change building mode. Building. There we go. That looks more aligned now. That's loads better. Loads better. Right. Uh, let's set the traps up and stuff yet. Yeah, uh, first. So we're going to queue. Mm, not this one. Other traps. We need 10 sticks. So let's go grab just a couple more sticks, shall we? And we can get a trap set up. Because we're going to need some... Well, actually, I've got some food on me. We've not really got to um, wait around for this rabbit trap to go off. Although getting some fresh meat in would be a good idea. We might do that in tomorrow's episode. This being the very first episode. We don't want to go too, um, too much. Um, restores 5 health and 45 food. Let's eat one of these rolls. Yeah, that's not bad. Just go and get a drink. And we're all good. I think you can just keep working all the way through the night if you really want to, but I don't really want to. Uh, other traps. Rabbit trap. And I am going to set this up straight across the road from our uh, little hut. Place that right there like so. And that's going to trap me some rabbits. I believe it catches you three rabbits before it breaks. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I'm fairly sure it's three. Uh, next up, we need to make a wooden spear, which we'll be in crafting. Wooden spear. Right, I want to get a few more logs, because I, you're going to need plenty of spears in this game. Uh, let me also change my buttons. Axe on three, hammer on four. I'll have a simple torch on five. Did that do that? I guess you can't do that. Oh, it's for lighting the darkness and campfires. Last eight hours used can be crafted. Yeah, I'm not that bothered about using a torch yet. It's not that dark. You can still see, right? Eh, it is getting a bit dark. What are we on? We're nearly on 30 minutes. Where the hell has time gone? This is going to be another one of them games, isn't it? I'm going to do one thing and, like, the episode's going to be over. Eh. Well, I'd at least like to get my wooden spear and a stone knife made this episode. So, uh, let's go other... Nope. Let's go crafting. Stone skinning knife. I'll make one of those first. <clears throat> because that's literally just for skinning. Then we're going to make some wooden spears. I'm actually going to make all seven of these. Because A, they break very quickly. And B, I'm going to be throwing these at animals. I'm not going to be running up and stabbing them. Because they're going to be running away from me. So, yeah. These are going to come in very handy next episode. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't quite be as dark. I wanted a screenshot, god damn it. It's fine. I'll probably go to sleep to finish this episode off. And then that's going to give us a good start for the next episode. Because then, we're going to go hunting wild animals. And I believe this is the exact area that uh, Raven told me about. Where we're going to be finding some deer. So yeah, happy hunting next time. Can we equip that?
Now, it's said that I've equipped it. But it doesn't seem to have lit. Hmm. Equip. Holster. Torches F. There we go. I don't really want to use the torch. I mean, we can use it to light the fire like that. <clears throat> then we've got a bit of light in here at least. Doesn't it look lovely? Well, it doesn't look quite as bright as I thought it was going to. But yeah, that's where we're going to leave this first episode off. So we've done quite well, in my opinion. We've got a house built up and it only took us 30 minutes to get through the tutorial and get this done. I'm pleased with that. Next episode, we're going out hunting, like I say. We're going to get some food and then, you know, the world's our oyster. We're going to start building the... Um, and I probably will keep calling it a colony for a little bit. It's not. We're going to start building the town up. Try and get out of that habit now. It's not colony survival anymore. This is a medieval dynasty. So, thank you very much for watching the first episode. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And a like on the first episode is greatly appreciated. Helps get the video out there, get more people watching. And then I can keep doing this even more. All comments and feedback, greatly appreciated as always. And I am a novice when it comes to this game. So all tips that you've got for me are going to be greatly appreciated and if you'd like to see some more of this sort of content then feel free to subscribe but other than that i'll see you guys next time cheers